Alright, today I'm going to teach you how to burn ISOs, seeing as you probably watched my last video, which was the video TS, burning a video. So this time I'm going to teach you how to burn ISOs, which is kind of like the compressed version of video TS files. It's a little bit easier to deal with if you're not, you know, as experienced as people who normally would play around with video TS files. So, to get things started, I'm kind of kind of explain to you what a video or a ISO is. So what I'm using here is daemon tools and this is just the agent because you don't really need daemon tools, the actual program for this. So all I'm doing is right clicking on my agent down here, my tray, and then I'm going to go in my virtual CD DVD ROM, which is, these are the four virtual drives I have. And then I'm going to mount my ISO. So what I'm going to use for this example is Cloverfield. So there's my Cloverfield ISO. It's 4.35 gigabytes, which is the average size for a uh, DVD. Open, and then it'll mount it, and then it should try to play in whatever media I have it set up for, which I think is Windows Media Player. It should pop up here in a second. If not, then don't worry about it. But uh, basically, that amount, after it's the mounting, I'm going to show you what's going on here. So... Go to my computer, and then you can see if it mounted right. Here is uh, Cloverfield. Even though it's not labeled Cloverfield, because the person who probably ripped this didn't label it Cloverfield, this is everything. Okay, so as you can see, inside of the ISO, after the ISO has been mounted, this is what you would normally do if you were ripping, uh, like if you're ripping the ISO from like a you know, a movie you bought from the store or whatever, this is what you would see. These are the video TS and the audio TS files that we know and love. So, here's all your files, you know, for Cloverfield. This is the full DVD. It's got all the menus and everything, all the special features. So, this is what you would normally see. That's what we want. That's the bread and butter of an ISO. So, basically, to break it down, an ISO is basically like a rare file. It's everything compressed into one easy-to-use, easy-to-manage file rather than having a bunch of extracted so to say files so that's that and now you're gonna wanna burn it so bring a trusty old Nero here and then instead of using our old-fashioned Nero Express we're gonna take it down that sh we're gonna go to down the bottom left here you can actually add this application to your start page in the, in the launch applications you can add it to there be a little bit easier to manage <clears throat> but you can also go down here, and then here's all your other programs that come with Nero 8. And you can use Nero Burning Round, which is what we're going to use. And that'll load up. And Nero Burning Round is actually what I prefer to use because there's a lot more options, there's a lot more you can do with it. So it makes, you know, life a lot easier. And you can see, you know, all your options over here. You've got. DVD ROM UDF ISO, which is what we're going to be using. Then there's DVD ROM UDF, which is also a different form of ISO. So there's DVD ROM, which is boot disks and other things you could use that for uh, things like operating systems and stuff like that. Uh, DVD video, which this is generally what you can use for pretty much everything. DVD ROM ISO, which is what I usually use for ISOs. In fact, I think I actually might even use that for this tutorial rather than UDF, but I'm pretty sure Cloverfield is a UDF. Now, if you use one of these, either DVD-ROM ISO or DVD-ROM UDF slash ISO, if you try to use it and it's the wrong one, Nero will tell you that, you know, hey, you should be using this instead, and it'll redirect you back to this page, and I'll let you choose that. So don't worry if you choose the wrong one. Nero will walk you through it because it's cool like that. So for this, DVD-ROM UDF ISO, don't worry about any of this up here because that's only if you really want to get into that which you shouldn't need to because everything's pretty much already done for you. Click New, and then Nero will load up your file browser and your DVD. And now I'm not going to actually do this because I don't have um, I don't have a blank DVD in my drive right now, so there's nothing. It's not going to let me use it. So it, it, it's pretty straightforward from here, though. Don't worry, I got you covered. All right, so here's Robot Chicken Season 1, okay? I've got my two ISO files, okay? I've got Disk 1 and Disk 2 because there's two disks because it's a two-disk collector set or whatever. Okay, so 
disk one. All you would have to do for this is either copy them both at the same time, or you can just do one at a time, whatever works for you. I'm just going to highlight both. Click and drag these over here and drop them onto that. Now see, this is what I was talking about. This is what Nero will do. This is the file Robot Chicken Volume 1 Disk 2 ISO. It's larger than 2 gigabytes and therefore cannot be stored in an ISO file system. Please use the UDF file system. So that's what I was talking about. If you use the wrong one, it'll tell you. So, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> but basically what's going to happen is you're going to drag these over here, you're going to drop it on that, it's going to add it to there, and then it'll show you how big the file is down here in the bottom where this little, this little timeline sort of thing is, which is more like a scale. <clears throat> That'll fill up and tell you how big it is. And remember, after you get both of them on there, you know, complete your disk, remember that this is what you need to, you know, make sure that's right, DVD 5, unless you're burning a dual layer DVD, because... Normally you'd have to do this on two di two separate disks because these are each 4.5 gigs. So for me, I would have to use two disks, or I could use one single dual layer DVD. But I only have single layer DVDs on me right now, so DVD five. And then after you get your files on there, of course you're gonna click the burn icon, which is right there. But since I don't have a blank DVD in my drive, and since I don't have any blank DVDs, I can't show you that, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to click that, the burn program will come up, same as usual, you burn it, and after you get done burning it, your tray will eject, and then uh, <coughs> your Robot Chicken Volume 1, or Season 1 I should say, will pop out and you'll be in your Robot Chicken Heaven, so that's pretty much all you got to do to burn ISO files, and pretty much all there is to it, so I'll see you guys around. Take it easy.